Last week in our Sunday special report, we saw some of the many mascots local governments create to promote trade shows and other events. Today, we'll take a look at how hard it is to make an effective mascot. After all, a mascot has to be more than a cartoon character that just dances and sings. It is tough to make a mascot a success. It takes clever branding, a slew of public appearances, and hours of professional training. Let's go behind the scenes in part two of our Sunday special report. The Gaoshan City government is holding a picnic today, and a mascot is here to help. Wherever he goes, he's an instant hit. Gao Tong Tong is the mascot of Kaohsiung's Agriculture Bureau and a local celebrity. Just look at the snacks made in his likeness. They sure caught his attention. He's lively, a little naughty, and welcomed by all wherever he goes. <laughs> Compared to other mascots that seem to only know how to wave, the mischievous Gao Tong Tong appears more lively and approachable than his peers. Such traits didn't just happen by chance. They were meticulously conceived by his design team. Xie Mingxiu, who works for the Agriculture Bureau's Farmers Organization section, is busy answering calls and sorting out Gao Tong Tong's schedule. He's the one who accepts or declines the mascot's event invitations. Gao Tong Tong, he, he is really very popular. Gao Tong Tong is really very popular. We had to create a calendar for him so we wouldn't forget anything. Gao Tong Tong's primary mission is to market agricultural products. The Agriculture Bureau decided from the outset that Gao Tong Tong had to be a populist with an abounding energy. Whenever Gao Tong Tong makes an appearance, public attention seems to intensify on whichever agricultural products he's promoting. Over time, the Agriculture Bureau came to realize that the star power of a mascot could easily match that of a human celebrity. Usually, when we invite an entertainer, it costs about 200,000 to 300,000 NT dollars. And when the entertainers come, you have to provide them with a stage, with lighting and a backdrop. And all of that costs money. But with a well-executed mascot, once the costume is made, you only have to pay for that mascot performer. Wherever he goes, he'll bring laughter to the people. But just like in showbiz, if a mascot doesn't get the spotlight on a regular basis, it's gradually forgotten. To keep Gao Tong Tong fresh on people's minds, the Agriculture Bureau has to brainstorm new ideas and action plans to attract public attention. Not only does Gao Tong Tong have his own theme song, he's also appeared alongside Japan's super popular Kumamon. Officials arranged this joint appearance to give Gao Tong Tong extra visibility. Through a series of projects, officials have also given Gao Tong Tong a distinct personality that helps him function as if he were real. If we make this character as real as possible, you'll have a living character with a soul. In the process, you'll naturally develop a very intimate relationship with it. In Japan, mascot performers are strictly forbidden to change into the costume or show their face out in public, lest they spoil the illusion. Mascots are regarded as living entities in Japan. That's why a performer would never take off the headgear in front of the audience or change in front of people. Maintaining the illusion of mascots is something that novice performers have to learn at the start, step by step. Here at the training course for mascot performers, Instructor Liu Yushan is teaching some new performers how to dance to attract attention. The mascots give all they have in front of the camera. Afterward, we want to follow them into the changing room for some behind-the-scenes footage, but we are denied entry. We don't even let people see mascots that aren't in character, let alone mascots that are out of character. We want to present them as a person. 
one that has a background, a father and a mother. That's what we present to the audience. We tell them the mascot is going home. To the team, the process of someone putting on a mascot's costume has to be hidden from the audience. And the job of protecting the mascot and maintaining its realness is the so-called mascot nanny. The nanny serves as the mascot's eyes and ears, helping it become attuned to its surroundings. Before performances, we decide on a signal. If the mascot makes a signal at any time, I know that something is wrong. Maybe he isn't feeling well. When I see it, I hurry to help him and find him a place to rest. For mascots, performance skills are a very important part of the show. The actor has to be trained to be at one with the mascot. He has to think, I'm a person, I'm walking the stairs. It has to flow naturally. We wouldn't put on a wooden puppet act. We want to imbue the mascot with a soul, allowing it to really exist in this world, rather than being just a movable puppet. Mascots are like people with unique personalities and charms. And what they crave is to leave a lasting impression on the minds of their audience.